Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and I'm just going to show you some character customization options on Tearaway on the Sony PlayStation Vita. So at any point in the game when you're able to move around freely so you're not in a cutscene, just press your finger down on your character and it will take you to the character customization screen. So we've got all these options on the left hand side and I'll go through each one of these. Um, so I'm on the first option which is for eyes and mouth and you can see all the different stickers. Are we going to call them stickers? I'll just go with stickers for this um, on the right hand side here. And you may notice that some of these have numbers next to them. Now what that means is I need to purchase them with the confetti pieces that I've collected. Now you collect confetti when you play the levels in Tearaway and there's so much confetti you can collect in each level. And you can go back to levels and replay and collect the confetti you missed as well. However, the confetti you've already collected will just be kind of like white orbs. So you can't collect an infinite amount of confetti. So one would assume that 100%ing the game and collecting all the confetti in each level will mean that you are able to purchase every single um, piece of craft material in this character customization screen. So I'm just going to slowly scroll down so you guys can see all the options we've got available here. It's pretty cool actually because from what I can tell you don't actually unlock any more of these from playing the game. You actually get a lot to begin with. Don't quote me on that though, it's still early days for me playing the game so you may actually unlock more at later points in the game or from the presents that you collect. I'm not too sure at this moment. So if I just scroll down and then the second option on the left hand side is more like shapes so you can like pile these on top of each other and create the design that you wish. There's also some pretty funky animal faces in this um, I've actually stuck a rabbit on the back of my bag there of my female character who's looking pretty ferocious and evil, <laughs> mischievous shall we say. <laughs> I don't want to fiddle with my character too much on this video because I quite like the look that I've got going on at the moment but I will take you through a few things. So the third option on the left hand side now, you'll see these three things popping up here. One is a crown, one is a moustache and one is supposed to be a pumpkin head. Yes I know it's crap. Anyway, um, these are things you've created in game for characters but if you want to create new pieces of your own just press the plus scissors icon on the right there and you can literally just drag any color sheets on here you want with your finger if you don't want them just flick them back off you can zoom in and out so you can um, recover those sheets if you want just grab them there is a tutorial for this early on in the game so i'm not going to go through this too much but you can draw a circle for example and then select the scissors to cut that out and then just dispose of that yellow sheet of paper and leave what you want on the cutting mat basically and if I zoom out again I can just drag in another piece of paper draw a bigger circle cut that out that's a really crap circle by the way um, <laughs> cut that out dispose of that and I can even add this yellow circle on top of that and you can just build whatever shapes you want and just tap that tick to save and that will save what you have created but um, I'm not interested in saving this because it's crap so I'm just going to back out of this next we can zoom in and out of our character with the right analog stick so you can stick the um, craft materials anywhere on your character and you can also enlarge them and make them smaller so I'm just going to show you this now I'm just going to pick this random smile so I can stick it anywhere on my character and then I can try and grab it without moving my other things too much and if you um, pinch pinch out like you would on a tablet you can um, make it larger 
And also if you hold it down with two fingers and you swivel your fingers round, you can should also be able to rotate it. Sometimes this can be a bit fiddly though I've found. You can see that I'm rotating it slightly there, but we don't want to do that. So you can, as I say, rotate your characters so you can stick things on the sides as well as on the face. You can stick things on the arms, on the legs. Um, I've got a tie on now, I didn't have that on before. Um, I completely wiped my face clean on my character and started again actually. I've got a little hat on there, a little skull on my leaf, and I've got a rabbit on my bag, a little, um, I don't know what that is, dragonfly or a wasp on the back of my head. And that's all I've done to my character for now, but I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. So as I said, to unlock more of these, you need to collect confetti and then just tap on the one you want and purchase it. Um, like I said, you may be able to unlock more craft materials from playing the game, but I'm not too sure at this moment in time. And of course, you can create your own here by pressing the plus scissors icon and just messing around on the cutting mat. And that's it really. It's um, really cool that you can customise your character. I didn't find out about this until like uh, a couple of days before the release of the game and it got me really excited because I thought that you weren't going to be able to do it. So that's great. Anyway guys, um, what I might do in the future is maybe share some of my character designs and stuff like that. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I am doing a full let's play of Tearaway on the Sony PlayStation Vita. So don't forget to check that out if you haven't already. But otherwise, thanks very much for checking out this video guys and take care.